and they came from miles away to get it. For many, it's a race that they're losing. The race to find oxygen before coronavirus overwhelms them. Quickly, he's shouting. They know every minute counts. The narrow street outside this Sikh temple in East Delhi is crowded with vehicles, full of sick and dying people. Desperate people gasping for air, for oxygen that the hospitals can't provide. Is this the only place that you can get yeah, oxygen? Yeah, this is the only place in the municipality where we are getting oxygen. I heard that government is uh, I mean, providing supply after some time, but uh, still now this is the place where we are getting it. Many tell us they've been turned away by several hospitals before reaching here. No one seems able to help these people, and some just don't make it in time. He's died, he tells us. This would be shocking on its own, but this tragedy is being multiplied over and over. Indians are being abandoned in the teeth of a deadly disease. The EU, UK and America are amongst the countries to offer help, but the people have yet to see it. So they're taking it where they can, and this Sikh temple's providing it, sourcing oxygen themselves. How do you manage to get oxygen and the government doesn't? Why isn't the government doing that? I don't know what government is doing. People are dying on, on seats, and government are, are, are watching for their votes, and elections are seats. I don't know what the government is doing. But then we can do it. The why can government not doing? That's a question a lot are asking. India's grim statistics keep on rising. They're promising free vaccinations for all. But in this, one of the world's biggest vaccine manufacturing nations, only around 2% of Indians are fully inoculated. And the surge in testing across the country means these are hard to come by too now.